I have a bottle here that looks like it has a single liquid in it. But um, let's take a look at it. I'm going to shake it up first. And you can see now it's pretty visible that it's fairly turbid in character. Let's see what happens with time. Put something behind it, you can see that it's very turbid. But now it's starting to clear up. It takes a little time. Be patient. Let me say while we're waiting that this uh, liquid in there is a mixture of isopropyl and water and one other ingredient. Isopropyl and water are completely miscible with one another. But if you add a little salt, and I've added salt uh, to the mixture, uh, it turns out the salt, although it's very soluble in water, is not very soluble in isopropyl alcohol. And this causes the two phases to cease being miscible. And the top phase will be the less dense phase, which is almost pure isopropyl alcohol. And the bottom phase is a salt water solution. And it's more dense, so it's on the bottom. And you can see the phase boundary starting to appear. So when I shake them up, I form an emulsion. And as they combine or separate, we see a clear boundary. And I might be able to show this. Okay, now you can sort of see the phase boundary in the middle there, right about here. And if I shake it a little bit, you can see it wobbling around. Now to make that boundary a little more apparent, I'm going to add some dye to this mixture. I'm going to add green dye. Two drops. And now I'm going to cap it and shake it up again. You can see I have one phase there, but it's a very turbid mixture. It's really an emulsion. And let's see what happens with time as the two phases separate. This will make the two phases much more visible as they slowly separate. So you can create such a mixture by, instead of mixing water and isopropyl alcohol, Add a lot of salt to the water. Now, if you add just table salt, it's going to be kind of turbid because there's starch in the table salt. It's better to use some kind of salt that doesn't have any starch in it. Uh, I used salt for making ice, ice cream, uh, Morton salt, uh, but uh, and, and then you get a nice clear solution. Otherwise, you get a turbid solution. Okay, you can see we're starting to get a separation. It looks like the top is becoming a little bit blue, whereas the bottom is more green. And uh, actually, a uh, green dye is a good choice to use because it's really a mixture of blue and yellow. Blue and yellow make green. And it so happens that the, uh, the blue dye seems to have more of a pre preference for the nonpolar, less polar isopropyl alcohol phase. And the yellow maybe for the bottom phase, but uh, there's enough blue in the bottom to give it a green color. So we can see a clear separation of the two phases. Let's give it enough time to completely separate. 
And it's pretty clear now that we have two phases. And as I said, the top phase is mostly isopropyl alcohol, a little bit of salt, a little bit of water. Whereas the bottom phase is mostly salt water. So thank you for your attention. And I'm going to uh, uh, show you another demonstration involving this system in a later video.